Hi, my name is Diane Helton. I am the 2015 chairperson for the Southeastern Guide Dogs Walkathon here in Bradenton. We're here today to raise money for guide dogs and their um, their funding so that we can help people with visual impairment. Well, Southeastern Guide Dogs is a grassroots um, organization. They did start in Palmetto in 1982. They've, they're, I like to say they're born and bred in Manatee County and where else to kick off their walk season but here in Bradenton in the heart of Manatee County. Um, they've been working with people locally and we have now expanded to most of the southern states all the way out to the California coast and all the way up to Maryland. So it's a great Great organization to work with locally, knowing that not only are these dollars helping visually impaired folks locally, but they're helping them all over the southeast. Yes, other um, ways that southeastern guide dogs are used, if they don't make the program for visually impaired, we have the Paws for Patriots program where a guide dog can be teamed up with someone that has come back, a veteran that has come back from serving and has uh, special needs for a companionship whether it be PTSDs or other visual impairments from their service to our country. Also some of the guide dogs that don't make program can actually become breeder dogs and help along help with our um, newer dogs coming through the program and um, other programs that they go into are arson, uh, police dogs. They are highly trained dogs so they're used in very many capacities and some just don't make program for whatever the reason and are not used in those capacities and they can become pa family pets. Very well trained family pets. Sure, I started my volunteering with Southeastern Guide Dogs by just going and hugging a puppy. My dog got too old to hug every day and I said I've got to do something and went and hugged a puppy and fell in love with Southeastern from the get go. Um, after that you can walk dogs and, and they are constantly looking for volunteers to not only um, hug the puppies and integrate them with different sights, smells and people but also for those dogs to get the older dogs to be walked through the campus and, and uh, familiar with different sights and sounds there also. Um, what they're looking for right now are puppy raisers. That is a puppy that is um, 10 to 16 weeks old would go to your home and stay with you as a family member. You would teach them the basic um, obediences and then after that dog has reached uh, 18 months old or a year or two years old, they would go back to Southeastern to go into program and be trained as a guide dog. That is the biggest need right now at Southeastern. Um, you can also foster dogs. That program's not as big and it is also um, more of the breeder program where the breeders are, are basically family pets that get called in when uh, they're in heat or whatever. Absolutely. Um, I, first of all, my committee ha has been working hard at this since August and they have brought, put together a great number of um, volunteers and organizations. The Executive Network of Manatee County, I could not thank them more. They uh, have provided all of the foods and refreshments for today and the, the folks to actually serve that. Um, Publix is our presenting sponsor. They are actually the presenting sponsor at all seven walks and um, they are here today there um, we have Subaru I'm um, we have I know there's a, a whole bunch of folks I'm totally like lost for words at this point but um, that's correct we have a celebrity look-alike contest where we'll bring up people dogs that look like Benji or like Lassie or like Marley. Um, we are going to have a, a, a local resident do our national anthem. We have a local Boy Scout group that will be doing our Pledge of Allegiance. We have a local uh, VFW group that will be pre presenting colors for opening ceremony. Of course we have the DeSoto Conquistadors here just milling around and trying to keep everything festive for us. Yes sir, we we're, the walk will start off at 11 o'clock and walks along Bradenton's um, River Walk. It will walk from Rossi Park, where we are right now, all the way down to Tarpon Point Grill, which is on the east side of um, 
2nd Street or past Manatee Memorial Hospital and then back to this location all the way to 9th Street which is Business 41 and then back to Rossi Park for closing ceremonies which should be starting around noontime. I, I, like I said before, I, be, I believe that Manatee County has a special interest in this because Southeastern was born and bred in Manatee County in 1982 and has grown to be a national organization that's widely recognized and their home is here in Manatee County. They can go to guidedogs.org on the website and everything is there. It's a very comprehensive website with a lot of great pictures of puppies and dogs for those dog lovers out there. I'm Chris Davis, this is Jimmy Bailey, Johnny Flores, Flores and Robbie LePage. LePage. And this is Tristan, this is my son. We're here with Project Traverse. We're an organization that's based out of here uh, in Bradenton. And we, uh, we take veterans, first responders and Boy Scouts, we take them out, get them out of the house, get them fishing and hiking and camping and get them in the great outdoors. We also do some education classes to, you know, from anything from you know, tying knots to how to make little um, gas stoves, you know, you name it. If you want to learn about it, we'll we'll put on a class for it. So the, the idea was really just based around us sitting around talking about it and what we want to do for the community and what kind of our specialty is, you know. You know, I just, we've all been avid hikers most of our lives and we said we were going to get together and not just help veterans. I think that that is kind of our niche, but we also want to expand into first responders, police officers, EMT. If you're having problems getting out of the house, we want to be the organization that helps get you re-socialized and just come out and hang out and you know get to get to you know meet some real good people out in the great outdoors and that was it and we've done a couple of events so far we've had two or three hiking events and some fishing events and um, you know they've been great successes so Okay, my name is Cheryl Kinderknecht, and this is actually my successor dog, Kennesaw. My first dog, Carrie, who I got 10 years ago, has since retired. And so I've had uh, a good experience with Southeastern with the first dog I had, and now I've got another dog, and I'm, I'm thrilled with both dogs. I've been able to keep the uh, retired dog, Carrie, as a pet and I'm grateful for that because she's like family. I keep saying that these dogs are like having a miracle on four paws. It's, it's a way of having independence and dignity that I wouldn't otherwise have. When I walk without her, I've got partial vision, uh, probably 5% of what is normal. So I've got partial vision and when I don't have the dogs, I'm looking down and I'm trying to not stumble or uh, run into people or things and with the dog I can have my head erect and I've got dignity and that full independence. She alerts me when there's a curb so I'm not stumbling. It's it's the difference between night and day and like I can walk to the bank by myself, I can walk to the post office, to a restaurant. So uh, my life is enhanced by having a partner, a team member. Yes, it's a 26-day residential program and it's like immersion and even though I'm a resident of Bradenton I had to go live at the uh, site, the guide dog uh, facility in Palmetto for 26 days because they want to make sure that it's a good fit, they want to make sure that your training with each other is gelling 
and they want to be there every step of the way while you go through that critical uh, adjustment period with your new guide. And so it's a 26-day immersion and you're in a, it's almost like being in a tank with eight other people nine dogs and three trainers and it's it's amazing it's amazing she's like family to me and uh, uh, right now Kennesaw is serving as my eyes but Carrie has my heart and always will and I love her but Carrie holds a special part in my life because uh, I got Carrie during a very difficult time of adjusting to the diagnosis and the limitation and uh, I feel like Carrie helped me work through that process and I'll probably be a better uh, team member with Kennesaw because Carrie already got to train me. <laughs> so you get unconditional love and support and they are dedicating the best years of their lives to us and I'm very humbled and grateful by that, you know, it's, I'm very humbled. Uh, my name is Kathy and this is Benjamin. He's a Southeastern Ambassador Dog. Ambassador Dog is not a service dog, so we can take him everywhere and talk about our goals at Southeastern. He's also a therapy dog and certified, so he works in hospitals, schools. Well, Benjamin is a fully trained uh, uh, visually impaired dog, but he, got, he had a lot of allergies, so we kind of changed careers on him. So, if you'll look at him, mostly he just takes out people's stress. Well, you know, we raise puppies and we have service dogs and they can't always be petted and touched. But this dog can be petted and touched. And that's really, really nice when we're talking about our school. Well, there's a couple ways, but one of the easiest ways is to go to our website at southeastern.org and check us out. You can sign up for a tour. Maybe 200? You can take a look at our puppies. My name's Heather Millard and I'm from Port Charlotte. I'm 90% blind and I love to raise money for people to get guide dogs and I might be getting one this year too. My brother is stationed in El Salvador because he's in the Navy and he, uh, he supported me by giving me money but he also went beyond and beyond because he asked his friends to support me too and they donated a lot of money. for. To me it's because People that have vision impairment, I think they want to be independent and the dogs are a great way to help you like be independent and not have to count on everybody to help you move around. It really is and a lot of people, I think a lot of people should support this because I mean they help us get around. It's like someone having a car and it's like helping someone walk around. Well, it would help me be well with the turns and the stairs and know where people are so it could guide me away from that because I fall a lot. The corners. I think it would help her be a lot more independent. It would help her to get around on her own um, without, like she says, she'd be able to get around without bumping into things and um, falling and stuff and just get around on her own and be independent.
Yes, we're here today because uh, we are helping to support the Southeastern Guide Dogs, the group, the Executive Network, at which Molly's at, but the president is here beside me. And uh, we went out and got from different donors uh, the wonderful food that we have behind us, and it's to be able to serve for those first folks who are dedicated to this cause. Um, the Executive Network is a group of, of individual businesses and business people who have come together. We have a meeting every Thursday from 7.30 to 8.30 at the First Street Cafe. Um, and uh, we all support each other. And this has just been uh, the opportunity to support the Southeast Guide Dogs and to come together this way has just been an incredible opportunity for them, for us, and for the community as a whole. We were able to raise quite a few funds for Southeast as well as providing this wonderful breakfast. So it's just been a great opportunity. Uh, everything has been donated by local businesses. We have a board uh, over there that shows all of the different, different businesses that have donated. Starbucks provided all of the coffee, all of the sugar, all of the cups. Um, when Dixie was a, was a huge sponsor as well. And uh, we got from Dunkin' Donuts, they, they supplied the, the donuts. And Chick-fil-A is coming actually. They should be here shortly with the cow to provide the sandwiches. So it's just awesome. Years ago, the executive network used to take out the folks who had their dogs and were learning on the weekends so they could have a little time off. And I learned to appreciate uh, the folks and the good the Southeast Guide Dogs do. And the wonderful thing about today is when someone's blind, they don't have to stay home anymore. They have freedom, thanks to Southeastern Guide Dogs. No, it's just, it, it is just is an amazing organization that gives people their lives back in a way that most of us cannot relate. So it, it's a very important cause, and we're honored to be a part of it. We have a website. Molly, what's our website? It's the uh, www.executivenetworkofmanatee.com. So, and we have flyers here at the table as well. So, we have one member of each seat, and the idea is to give business to each other and those that you believe in. I've been in the group for over 25 years, and it's a wonderful organization of, of upright people. Come by one morning and I'll buy you breakfast. If you're interested in finding out more, you can call John Chambliss at 360-2145. Well, I'm a, a recipient of a Southeastern Guide Dog. This is my second dog from the organization, and I can't say enough positive about it. What the dog does for me is provides me security and confidence in life. The simple things of transiting a sidewalk and knowing where the curb is. The simple things of a small child going in front of you and not stepping on the child. It's uh, safety for people plus myself. I found out about through uh, the uh, Veterans Administration through the visual impaired uh, coordinator up at Bay Pines had said Southeast guide dog I need a guide dog. I'd been transiting with the white cane but they, uh, my VIS coordinator through the VA says no you need a dog. My day uh, varies uh, off and on. A, a good day and everything in transiting We'll go down and grab the bus and head into town or head out to the beach, uh, either direction. And he keeps me safe. And the good thing about him, on the bus, the bus drivers don't forget that I'm blind, and so they'll let me know where the streets are and know when to get off the bus. Uh, prior to a dog, I got stuck on the bus for about a day and a half. It seemed like it was actually four hours because the drivers forgot and they didn't tell me the cross streets, so I didn't know where I was. It's excellent. It uh, gives the, uh, another venue for dogs that uh, helps the vets become socialized and everything. Uh, uh, the horrors and, and the non-visual wounds of war is something that a lot of people, I think, just don't understand. And these dogs are able to, to 
allow those vets to become socialized again into a, a society. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a program. And, you know, the interesting thing is that uh, Southeastern provides these dogs at no direct cost to us. All the dogs are provided through is through donations like the Walkathon. It's fundraising and the generosity. There is no government funds, no state funds. It's all through volunteer donations. Pretty much have uh, just a brief thing of what brought me to realize I needed a dog and what the dog does for me. So that the money that you give shows exactly what the dog will do and, and the value in it. The dogs give me confidence in life at no direct cost to me through volunteer donations of people like you. I'm Jeannie Wacker. I'm Mary Pickup. Vicki and Glazy. And Dana Hintz. And we are here with our dance troupe called That's Dancing, and we do a special patriotic show called Salute to America. Well, we dance for charity, and that's our charity that we dance for. Um, just because we all love dogs, and it's for a good cause, and we all understand what dogs do for people. Um, if someone wants us to come do a show for them, we do it at nursing homes or at community centers. Uh, anyone that wants us to uh, help them earn money for their charity, we'll be glad to dance for you. That uh, the more they can support it through walks, through inviting people to uh, veterans to come with their dogs, to talk to them about how important it is to earn money for this charity. We salute our veterans. We support our veterans. It doesn't matter how old, how young, where they've been and what they've done. We love our veterans. So we'd love to come to your community and do our special stage performance. So please invite us. We have a great performance. It's about an hour and Contact us through Bonnie Gray, that's dancing.com. And that about wraps up our walk here in Bradenton for 2015. I'd like to thank the DeSoto crew for coming out with their entertainment, for Publix being our presenting sponsor, for Subaru and bringing their vehicles out, and for the Executive Network for all of their hospitality today. Love to thank all of our walkers for bringing their four-legged friends out and having a wonderful morning with us. And what a great day we've had today. I'd like to say thank you again to everyone, and we'll see you again next year.